so much going on mm -hmm. on this Friday. So. Let's start with the phone call. It was reportedly made by President Trump to his team in Ukraine, and a State Department employee is testifying that he heard it and heard the president ask if Ukraine was going to play ball and dig up dirt on Joe Biden. Then we'll get to the tweet, which rocked the impeachment hearing today. David Holmes said he was sitting at an outdoor table in a Kyiv restaurant with U.S. Ambassador to the EU Gordon Sondland on July 26th, the day after the president's call with the Ukrainian president, when Sondland made a cell phone call to President Trump. Holmes testified he could clearly hear the president's voice booming over the telephone. After telling the president he was in Kyiv, Ambassador Sondland went on to state that President Zelensky loves your... Holmes went on to say, I then heard President Trump ask, so he's going to do the investigation? Ambassador Sondland replied that he's going to do it, adding that President Zelensky will do anything you ask him to. After the phone call, Holmes said, I asked Ambassador Sondland if it was true that President Trump did not give a about Ukraine. Ambassador Sondland agreed. I asked why not? And Ambassador Sondland stated that the president only cares about big stuff. He meant big stuff that benefits the president, like the Biden investigation that Mr. Giuliani was pushing. On CNN tonight, which broke the story, Democratic Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney said Holmes was a credible witness. I, I view this as a major development. This is another very credible witness, a member of the Foreign Service, uh, who heard the president's voice with his own ears. Democrats say Holmes' testimony erases Mr. Trump's defense that he never pressured Ukraine to help him dig up dirt on Joe Biden, but Republicans disagree. He's not saying anything that the president didn't say in the transcript with Zelensky, with the uh, telephone call notes that we have, that the president himself has said. There's no new information here. President Trump was asked about the phone call earlier this week. I know nothing about that first time I've heard it. It was terrible. It's not the way I wanted my career to end. This morning, former ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Yovanovitch, testified publicly, detailing how the White House worked outside normal channels in Ukraine, acting against stated U.S. policy, harming an ally fighting Russian aggression. She was asked about her 33-year career in the Foreign Service. My first tour was Mogadishu, Somalia, Tashkent, Uzbekistan. I later served in Moscow. But as she spoke, President Trump was busy tweeting about her, saying, Everywhere Marie Yovanovitch went turned bad. She started off in Somalia. How did that go? Would you like to respond to the president's attack that everywhere you went turned bad? I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't think I have such powers. What effect do you think that has on other witnesses' willingness to come forward and expose wrongdoing? Well, uh, it's very intimidating. Yovanovitch described how the president's personal attorney worked for months to smear her reputation and remove her from office. But the president called her bad news, according to the summary of his July call with Ukraine's leader. A person who saw me actually reading the transcript said that the color drained from my face. I think I even had a physical reaction. What did you think when President Trump told President Zelensky and you read that you were going to go through some things? It kind of felt like a vague threat. And so I wondered what that meant. It concerned me. She said her career was far from the biggest casualty. When other countries, other actors in other countries see that um, private interests, foreign interests uh, can come together and uh, get a U.S. ambassador removed, what's going to stop them from doing that in the future in other countries? Marie Ivanovich left the hearing to a standing ovation. Well, next week, we'll hear from Ambassador Sondland. Expect Democrats to grill him about this call and what Democrats call the shadow foreign policy Sondland was performing to help the president's reelection campaign. Mm -hmm.